this tutorial we're going to have a look at exploring DVD authoring. We have a small project here and we've added chapters to two places and renamed them and we've also changed the thumbnail image for each chapter. Let's now move on to create disk. We're now in the create disk user interface. Let's make a few changes. Let's name this section. Let's call it nature today looks good click return that's named let's go over here and name the full directory the general title of the DVD we're op we're making and it, instead of my videos let's call it something different like oh what should we call it does that look good up to something yep we're up to something let's add an additional video We've added an additional one. Let's add a, add a project. We've added a project there and we've added uh, a video there. Black screen start doesn't look so good. Let's change that one. We go to the edit icon, opens up the edit page. We open up the chapter section we rename the chapter click OK we decide where we want the thumb what the thumbnail to look like click the thumbnail we have a new thumbnail in there exit this section go into create disk again We now have a new thumbnail here, looking much, much more presentable. Let's rename this. Let's rename that one because that's the file name there now. We have now have three videos showing here. We can play one of these to check them out just by clicking here, play through. You see the start of it, see what it looks like. Listen to the background music, see the very beginning. We can look at the chapter structure. We have two chapters in this one. We can hide it quite easily. We can bin it and remove it from the disc. So we don't make that one if we want to. We can set the chapters. by going back in again of course we didn't change anything there but that's alright isn't it let's examine the menu structure now we now have the menu structure before us and we need to rename two of the titles where it says my videos we're going to put in a different name and I'm just having fun with the names by the way Oops, shouldn't put a capital there, should I? We've now renamed those two places. And let's move on. Click X to exit out of there. We move from content to the menu preference tab. Here we have a small collection of menus. We can bring more menus in by downloading from the director zone. Or we can bring files that we've got here and bring them in. This is the menu we've just brought in, previously downloaded from the Director Zone and stored on a hard drive. Let's use that one. Highlight it and we have a pop-up window which displays the root menu and chapter menus and what they look like. We can apply to all pages. I think we will. We can modify it. We can apply straight away or we can cancel. Let's apply to all pages. We can click on preview, thumbnail plays, we have a play there if we want to play through the whole video or we got scenes just here, we play through the scenes, we have the first one showing through, 
We go to the next one. Day trip. We go to the tutorial. We can go up. Back to the beginning. Having selected the wall, let's go and uh, change the audio file here and set the background music. Let's go and search. Bring the intro music in. The clip we have selected is a 20 second long one. We're going to fade it in and we're going to repeat. Do you want to repeat in? Yes or no? It's a good question. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. You can up to you to choose. Fading in is good, fading out is good because you don't get the sound at the start. Okay? So we're going to apply it to all pages. Or oh, we can listen to it as well, by the way. We can edit it down to the start point, finish point. And notice the end duration and such like changes. We'll leave it full size actually. So that's it. Apply to all pages. There we go. Play through for 20 seconds. Right, next one is a first play. Let's go and find a first play. Intro video, that's the one I want. That's the one I've made ready to go into there. And we can go back to preview and watch it. Okay, here we're watching it going through. And that's it then. That's our uh, little video, intro video. We're now going to set the disc playback mode. Click the icon on the bottom right hand side read through the options available to you. The default setting here is to play the selected title only and always refer back to the menu. This one is to start the men uh, from the menu page and play all the titles sequentially, so it should flow through from that point. On this one, to start the, the first title and play all the titles sequentially. Well, I'm going to choose the default one because I'm quite happy with that because it comes back to three individual different videos which I've got on my uh, setup to, to be put to disk. Click OK and we're done. Last few things, let's run through. If you want to share a menu you created, just click on this link and you can share it to up by uploading to the director zone. You can download menu templates from the director zone on this one or click this icon here. Um, as I've shown previously, you can import a menu template. That's the DZM files that you've downloaded from the director zone. You can alter uh, a menu by clicking on create disk and bringing up menu designer there you go and you can make the alterations as you want them and where you want them I'm out of that one because I think you should know all about menu designer already next one I'm going into uh, the disk preferences this is where we're going to choose what we're going to burn it in well I'm going to burn this small little project as a DVD I'm going to choose to display it as widescreen. There's a drop down choice just here. There are drop down choices for uh, AVC HD, Blu ray, and video CD. I don't suppose many of you make video CDs nowadays, but they're still available. Right, back into DVD menus. Made our choice. Best quality. Yep. All right, done the choices. And we click burn and we're done or are we let's have a look bring up the final output create a folder we've got a location there we can always search and browse for a location we're going to do one disk uh, rename the disk volume test project and start burning up pops the director chair and the progress as it's being done Shut down the PC after burning is completed. That's an option there. Click cancel if you want to interrupt it or let it go all the way through. 